What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Shabazz, and welcome to the channel. So, today I got another special guest. Yeah, my oldest brother, A Nasty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call me A Nasty. Yeah. Alright, now you know the vibes. You know the vibes. How old are you? 25. And by the time this video comes out, it'll be 26. I'll be 26. So, yeah. 26, yeah. October 11th. Right. I'll be in Jamaica, you know. Yeah, right. Spend some happy birthdays in the comments real quick for my older brother. But he's a little seasoned, you know, 26, I'm 22. So there's things that he grew up with that I didn't. And things that both of us grew up with that some kids today would never even know. So today, that that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over some of the things today's kids would never know. Now, if my old heads out there got any more, put them in the comments. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And let's get into this. So, phones. I remember there being a time when you had to, like, actually, like, you know, there's a pay phone. You got to, like, memorize the numbers or have it written down somewhere to call somebody. That's like, a fact. That's a fact. There was no saving contacts, bro. It was just, you got to remember the numbers. If it got wet, it was over. It was over. That one looked like a three. You're like, oh, shit. You just got to deal with it. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> when did you get your first phone? Uh, 15, I think. 16? Nah, I got it way earlier than that. Probably like 13, 14. 13, 14. Uh, little cousins, they got these uh, like eight, nine. Eight, I'm nine. like, and they got iPhones. I'm like, yeah, my, yeah. My cousin like seven years old with a better phone than me. I'm like, damn. That was crazy. <laughs> Blockbuster. So now we got like Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix, yeah. Funimation, like all these streaming sites. That's but back bad. then, yeah, you had to go to Blockbuster, bro. You had to get your movie, rent it for like three days, five days. If you was like a minute late, boom, smack you with that fee, it was over, you had to pay. Yeah. But that was before my time, I, I ain't do that, none of that. But. <laughs> so, pagers comes in at number three, and like, I don't remember this at all. This was way before my time, a little bit before your time. Was way well. before my time. But like, when I was researching for this video, like, pagers came up quite frequently, and then like, I was like, fuck it, let me add it in here. That's for them old heads, that's for them old heads out there. So, Yellow Pages was a big thing back in the day. Like you had like all like cleaners, doctors, like all these different like offices within the same like book. So if you needed to book a doctor appointment or go somewhere, you look it up. For me, you hit the pay phone or the house phone and you book those appointments. So Pops used to have this freaking contraption that had all his CDs, oh, word, old bro. movies, word. video games sometimes within it. And it was just very convenient. And if you got like grandparents, they definitely got like at least two of them things in it. My girl, my girl's pops, you open the, the closet, straight down. It's just DVDs, just from every, like any genre, every DVD you would like think of, it was in that closet. Crazy. That's crazy. So the PS5 is probably gonna come out before this video drops, but back then we had the original Wii, the Xbox, the original Wii, Xbox, Xbox, PSP, 360. But you go before that is the Nintendo 64, the Dreamcast, GameCube, GameCube vibes, yeah. Oh, direct, like. Ooh, Mario Kart Double Dash, bro. I remember you had to. For the Nintendo 64, you had to blow that cartridge <laughs> just to get it to work. Even though it said, don't blow the cartridge. We was that. OD to get that shit to work, bruh. Yeah. That. And then another, like, game hack with, like, the, let's say, like, the PS2. You gotta, like, like wipe the disc with, like, alcohol. Mm. And then, like, wipe it down real good. And then we was some scientists, bro, finessing that game to work. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So before it's like Facebook and like Instagram literally popped off, we had AIM and MySpace. That's a that's a fact, bro. The MySpace days, yo, have my nice little profile. You go in there, you hear the music jumping. They was like, oh, that's all right now. Let's get right. Then you had the top ten friends, and if one of the friends wasn't in that top ten, bro, you had to you had to answer some questions like, yo, my man, I thought I was your boy. That top ten was serious, bro. Serious. 
I know AIM, like, after school, was just, like, peeping everything. Like, all your mates was online. You was just chatting for, like, hours. That's a fact. AIM was a vibe. AIM was a vibe. Yo. Projectors was a vibe. When your teacher pulled out the projector, you knew it was going to be a vibe. Also, that, that brolic TV with the... <laughs> the sticky wheel, like yeah, with the, the big ass box TV on top. You like, oh yeah, it's movie time. It's movie time. It sucked though when you got into the class and then that TV was for the class before, and you wasn't valid. You like, oh damn, you're not even valid for a movie. Stupid. Bro, I remember being on the computer and then your mom being like, yo, get off the computer. I gotta use the phone. Like, like what? Imagine doing that today. Kids would be dumb to say. Oh, like, get off a of Fortnite. I gotta use the phone. What? <laughs> oh, indeed. I remember, like, you know, you know, you be kid, you know, you macking with shorties or whatever, you don't get the numbers, and you call in shorty, and then someone, like your older brother, older sister, or even your mom's, is like on the other line, the e-shopping, seeing oh, what you, God. seeing the magnitude you span shorty, and then awesome. thought she was trash, like. <laughs> <laughs> What's Dude. up? Oh, what would you have done if I kissed you? Oh, oh shit. Then <laughs> your brother on the other line, yo. Yo, what would you have done, bro? I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> OD. Uh, uh. I'm nervous, Max. I'll admit it. I'm nervous, OK? I'll admit it. I'm nervous. Yeah. So, I remember, for like, life was so simple, you know, Saturday morning. No, you, uh, you know, you got the, you got the, the eye booger, you know, brush your teeth, wash your face, and you got a nice bowl of cereal, watching some big cartoons. Facts, big facts, All the classic Saturday cartoons, bro. Yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't make them no more, man. You, right. you sit there, eat a bowl of cereal, Yu-Gi-Oh, Shaolin Showdown, Ooh. fucking, what else, what else? Power Rangers, like, like but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I mentioned cereal, you know, if you need some valid cereals, you know, Top 10 cereals, link in the description. Come on now, let's get right. That top 10 is a little flawed, but Ooh. it's top 10 is valid for the most part. Right. Yo, Healy's, right? Healy's had like a short stint. However, if they came out now, imagine pulling up and like you in a mall. Ooh, pull, yeah, you like, Hold on, like, wait a minute. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> like, that would be fine. That would really be fine. A girl cannot deny a guy in Healy's. It's just, it's just, you can't. Yo. The ultimate flex was that OG pencil sharpener, the one with the crane. You know, you gotta flex your fit of the day. You know, you gonna pull up like a couple times, like like mad pencils, just uh, you know, walk slow. <laughs> Especially if you wanna impress a girl, bro. You wear that Monday fit, that fresh Monday fit. Walking by, yo, it's good. Well, you gotta keep it pushing. You gotta be quick with it. Cause the teacher see you standing up. Go back to your seat right now. You like, damn. I was just trying to show my pencil. Chill, chill. Yeah, you try to cheat on the test. Like, oh, yeah. you got the you got the homie in the front. Like, right, number <laughs> one is C, number two is D. I bet. Bro, this for all my anime heads, y'all can really relate. Like, before there was like Funimation, Country Road, Kiss Anime, R.I.P. Kiss Anime. We had YouTube playing parts. So like, you had like part one of fifteen. And then it was all out of order, so you gotta find it again and, <laughs> and again and again. I was like, damn. All for one episode, I'm like, damn. I feel like right now, if flip phones came out, it'll be so wavy, bro. Like, just imagine, like, someone something crazy. Just shut the hell yeah, up. The like, way you could bang it on somebody with a flip phone was you can't you can't do that with a with an iPhone. It's like, nah, you gotta. So they hear it on the other line. You just like, damn. Like, My bad. <laughs> where? So, before you can Google everything in like five seconds, I actually remember going to the library. Yes, the library is actually the place. And like taking all the books out, uh, yep. you know, saying for like all day, like writing all your notes to then type it over at home. That's such a fact, right? I remember I had a report on cheetahs and my mom didn't have a printer. My man's printer never had ink, so I was like, fuck it. So I went to the library, got a cheetah book, a book about cheetahs, flipped the page, <laughs> took a picture of the cheetah, cut it out, slapped it on my po my, my, my paper. Yo, had some crazy glue, it was over. I was lit. The life of cheetahs. 
I got a good grade on that too, bro. Yeah. But that's the crazy. So, this wasn't really like my time, but upon research, you know, taking a photo and then like the little film will come out, <laughs> you actually had to like. Had to shake that bitch, bro. Hey. Only one take. It was no. <laughs> just had to get one take. It had to be perfect. It had to be perfect. Yo, the hardest decision when you're like writing a paper. Was it even the font size, all that? It was the word art. Like, what do you do for, like, your title, your heading? I'm like, because you have mad designs. So I was like, yo, this shit mad advanced. So I'm like, I don't want to fuck up. Pick the, pick the rainbow one and, and not really vibe. Pick the camo one. or I'm like, so, like, those decisions. I usually just went with, like, the squiggly blue one. Like, that was just, I don't know, man. When you needed music... And you wasn't trying to go to no fucking Radio Shack, whatever. LimeWire. LimeWire was definitely Lime a vibe. LimeWire was a vibe, bro. All the viruses was on your phone <laughs> after you, on your computer, matter of fact, after you downloaded them songs. I would go to my boy's crib, download mad songs. Go back to the, my crib? Like, three of the songs was the songs you wanted. Two of them was, like, some guy dropping his mixtape. And then, like, the other three didn't even work. And it's just like, uh, damn, son, where'd you find this? I think I know about that. It was Lime Wire and Frost Wire, too. Ooh, Frost It's a throwback, throwback. Yo, so, Kick Chat is, is a little old. Before that, you had the DS group chat. I mean, granted, you had to be in, like, the same proximity, but, like, let's say you, all the kids was together for, like, a family function or whatever. We all had DS's. We were sucking wild crazy, <laughs> like. OD. Yo, shout out to all my, again, shout out to all my anime heads, because y'all know my pain. I was called nerd, geek, all that for loving anime, and like watching Pokemon, collecting the cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, all that. But now, niggas, it's cool. Like, it's a cool yeah. thing to do now. Like, everyone in their moms, like, the most fire John you know probably watches anime. Like, that's just crazy. See, if niggas wasn't Jack anime back then. Now, like... If you're not watching anime, what you doing? Hey. Shout out to my hero. Where? Definitely my hero. <laughs> if you need a good anime to start <laughs> off, like, oh, I don't know which one to watch. Oh my god, it's so long. My hero, Academia, Boku no, no Hero, like, y'all would not regret it. Similar to the anime not being valid then, but now it is. Champion. I remember, like, my pops would tell, like, well, he told him that, like, Champion was, like, it was lit. And then when I was growing up, it was not the vibe, but now it's that little resurgence in popularity. I'm like, dang, yo, I feel like kids nowadays do not know, especially with Corona, like, would not know about playing outside. Like, oh wow, well, yeah. With the game, like yo. manhunt with the game, like twenty deep, thirty deep, sometimes it's like. Back in the day, yeah, it was, damn, it was different, like. Bring a tear to my heart. Like, yeah, back in the day, we used to be outside for forever, bro, until the light, until the street lights came on, bro. Because we was manhunt, freaking. We had mad different games we used to play. Just being outside was the wave. Now everybody in, in the crib, playing online, nobody really outside, yeah. just chilling. Remember, like, Mom Dukes used to get mad when you got in the crib. Now, yeah. <laughs> also, like, 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 along with your mom being tight inside the crib, like, you keep going in and out, in and oh, out. Yeah, so you'll be that. inside and outside, but you gotta pick one. Like. Laying all that cold air out. Right. <laughs> the fact. Yo, a dollar today is worth nothing. Granted, inflation, you know, all my like, econ has, I you know about that, but like, a dollar back then, we could have got the whole stuff. Talking right. quarter waters, two bags of chips. Yep. The fucking sunflower seeds and like a little little fucking honey button for like a dollar. Like, what? I told my boys, I'm like, yo, we going to the store. I got a dollar. They like, oh, let's go. We out. Let's get it. Walk into the store. You looking like the champ, bruh. Let me get three of those, two of those. Be like 50 cents. You be valid. Let me get like six of those. It was, it was, it was all them candies and everything. Honey bun and shit, just like he said. But then Spire. also, like, with the bag of chips, and back then, you actually oh, yeah. filled up the bag of chips. It wasn't air. Right now, it's like, it's like 25% chips, 75% air. I'm like, damn. 
Shout out to Google Maps, man, because I'm thinking like, yo, we ain't have no Google Maps. You had to use that brolic GPS. You had to fold it mad times to fit it in your pocket. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'd be driving. If I didn't have GPS, bro, I'd be so lost. I'd be going around the same spot all the time, and I need that GPS, bro. Back in the days, there was no Google Maps. Like, it was just, you had to get the, the instructions from the internet and then just, just have it in your pocket. It's like, oh, all right, this way, I got to go this way. You make one wrong move, it was over. You wasn't getting there until, like, two hours. It was over. <laughs> so, back then, we had, like, DVD players and stuff. So, it was, like, recording over old videos, the new ones. So, like, my wife and kids, you had, like... Dude had yeah. baby for his steps and he recorded it over a basketball game. I was like, oh, damn. So I was like, I know a lot of moms would be tight. <laughs> so it's back, baby for his steps is gone. My wife and kids is playing. You like, what the hell? A little story. My sister was with a friend, thought they was watching one movie, <laughs> put the tape in halfway through it, then some crazy stuff started playing. They like, oh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened after that, but <laughs> wait, back in the day, you had to be careful putting them DVDs in. You don't know what was going to play. You don't know what, what your parents roulette. was into. Word. Mad Russian roulette. <laughs> That's a fact. Speaking of that, I remember you was at the barbershop. You know, really, like, black barbershops. I don't really know about, like, Dominican and other, like... Nah, it was Dominicans, too. Oh, yeah? Dominicans, too. Yeah. Everybody had the bootleg DVDs, bruh. You be in the barbershop, Chinese lady pull up, DVD, DVD, five dollar, five dollar. She had everything you needed. Them bootleg DVDs. The movie didn't come out for like a week, and she had it already. <laughs> for my Brooklyn head, my Brooklyn heads, the A train. My man, I don't know his name, but at like two o'clock in the morning, all the time he would pull up. Yo, I got DVDs. I got Nutcrackers. He had everything. Shout out to that man. I don't know where he at right now, but he always had the DVDs, and it was flawless. Who? And then with those, it'll be like, oh, you watch it, and then all of a sudden you see like mad like, dudes like waving, okay, walking by. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> walking by, you like, oh damn. At the good part too, not even at the, like the beginning. I like the the climax of the movie. The man. movie be sideways. You just like, you just got, you just have to deal with it. And then break your neck through. <laughs> Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so, you know, you got your fresh phone or whatever, you got your sidekick or whatever, and then you gotta, you need a ringtone. So, what was you gonna do for your ringtone? Because the ones he had, it wasn't it wasn't a bop. So, it was trash, and they, I think you had to pay for them too, so they was, they was trash. So, we was like, nah, we ain't paying for that. So, we get the song on the LimeWire. Turn it up and record it through the phone, and then use that as the ringtone. That was that was the vibe back then. Right. So let's say you trying to go to your man's crib, right? You gotta call the moms of your bro to be like, yo, is is Drew there? Uh, let's say Drew. Let's, it was Drew there. Drew, come down. <laughs> I never oh, to you. Like, what? Or he was just trying to mack on the phone with Shorty, and you had to call, he was trying to call Lisa or something. You had to talk to the mom, like, oh, hey, how you doing? You had to, like, pretend to have a conversation. Oh, is Lisa there? Can I talk to Lisa? And then, so you had to, like, finesse a little bit. You had to finesse. Now you, now it's just, yo, what's the vibes? Netflix and chill, we out. <laughs> links, links. So, uh, along with that, right, you got on the payphone, you call your boy, you call your, you call your friends or whatever. you like, yo, I'm gonna be at the McDonald's on 5th Ave at 12 o'clock. Oh yeah, before cell phones, so yeah. Yeah, before cell phones, right? Yeah. So you call them, like, oh, McDonald's 5th Ave at 12 o'clock. If they ain't show up in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you like, all right, fuck it. He dead, he died, it's yeah, over. It's over like, <laughs> we missing one, y'all, we gotta keep going. Yeah, so the, str the ultimate struggle was like, when your mom was in Jack and you go to the park. So you had to play in the backyard or like play in like the front yard and you like you basically invented like your own basketball court. Like you had like a milk crate, you cut it yeah, open. Cut the bottom out. And then oh, that's a fact. Put that's it on like a, a pole. You that's, when, that's when people got nice, boy. Pretty sure pretty sure all the all the people today, they had a milk crate back in the day. 
So we mentioned earlier, right, with the projector or like the movie day with the, the squeaky wheel and all that. But on the top of it was like a butt TV. So now we got flat screens, but back yeah. then we had a little butt, you had a little jaddy. And then on oh, top of that. The antenna. Talk about the antenna too. Yeah. You had to make sure you had the, the right angle, then you had to like fix it. And it was always you that had to fix it. Your mom never wanted to fix it, so she always sent you from the other room. <laughs> you are now pull up. You like, yes, mom, fix the antenna. Damn. <laughs> had to make sure everything was valid. But my uncle, right, he had a Rolodex. And for those who know what the Rolodex is, it's literally you have all the contacts A through Z. So like, That's back in the day. And he was just zing. Like, oh, I want to talk to my son Zach. Just flip over the Z, got it back, and you get to go. Like, yeah, before contacts in your phone, it was that. Now, when you wanted to scoop on what show was coming out this week, that TV guy. Yeah, the fact, the book, when they told you it was coming out at 8, what was coming on Wednesday, you was like, all right, bet. Let me plan my day around this TV guy, because that TV guy was elite. Because back then, if you missed the show, you was asked out, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it was like if you had Transformers on at 4, and you wasn't on... You need a crib ready to watch it at four. You was waiting till like the next day. And yeah, it was all, there was no recording, nothing like that. It was straight TV guy. Yo, so now your school probably emails you or like you get notifications on your phone like, oh, no school day. Like it's a school day, whatever. Back then though, you have to be at like five thirty. You waking up, looking at the screen. Is, Oh, it's Bushwick High School. <laughs> it's a close. It's Trans to Tech close. And you're like, let's go. My school never closed, though. I used to be staring at that screen. My pops would be like, my man, <laughs> get your ass to school. Your school not closed. I'd be like, dang. Yeah. Had to put on the boots and get it walking. So we mentioned flip phones earlier as well, right? So besides the hanging up aggressively and all that, when you had to type on a, a tech, like text somebody on a flip phone, you had to tap a certain button, like a like certain number of oh, times. Yeah. You had to capitalize and lowercase. So it's like, oh, yeah, I want the W. You gotta press nine like ten times. <laughs> tap the seven three times. Tap the six three times. Tap the one two times just to say what's up. <laughs> it's all that, but it's like a little ass message. So back then, before we like had like these unlimited plans or whatever, you had to wait till like seven o'clock. Oh it's yeah, for a free call for the minutes, for the minutes, three minutes, minutes yep. could you actually have like, let's say you had like a hundred minutes, they was like on the weekends and after seven, you was valid. Oh dear. So like, the minutes, oh. the minutes used to fly, bro. So they that they was serious about the minutes, cause like once you ran out of minutes, it was over. It was definitely over once you ran out of minutes. Where it'll be like six fifty nine. Your minutes <laughs> cold, you like, yo, give me like two minutes. Let me wait till my minutes like get right. free, or whatever. You know, I bet. So you call them back and you get to go. Right now we got iPhones and we value with the music, but back in the day it was iPod Shuffle and MP3 players. I had the little box, they didn't even show what song was playing. I had to just press it, press it, press it until I got my song. I'm like, I, I, can, I can vibe with this, I can vibe with this. So, along with playing outside with your mans or whatever, Dig Dong did you use like. Ding Dong! And you were out, like, oh, your mans is out of there. And you got, your mans got cold lacking. Yep. It's over, man. Like, we yeah. leaving him. We used to harass all the old people, man. Kind of feel bad now. Yeah. But back in the day, if they said something wrong to us, it was over. We was fucking with them the whole day. Like, oh, oh yeah, we out. We just be dipping. <laughs> we mad scared. After a while, they stopped coming to the door, but we was still out. <laughs> we was out. So, you got sisters. If, if you're a dude watching this, you got older sisters or younger sisters. And, like, growing up, It'll be this like you watching their pain with a hot comb, like you gotta like yeah. feel me, like they, their mom is like, ah, I'm like, dang, like oh, we we just valid, you know, you get haircut, shapeless, you valid, like. And then I know they be caught the back of the neck a couple times and just left that little mark there. It's like, damn, you've been through a rough time. <laughs> yeah, like that's, that was like a mutual understanding, like yeah. I feel your pain, sis. I feel your pain. So before we had like, oh, well, not we. But before, like, shorties had, like, the curling iron and you know, make your hair straight. I know some shorties who, like, actually use an iron on their hair and just make that yeah, straight. And the mom take the iron and just, and then just fucking make the grilled cheese after. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it. All right, stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. Like, multitasking with the iron. 
I ain't a shirt, you know what I'm saying? The same shirt. thing, like. And you got the fit, you got the sandwich, and you got the head though. You better. So, like, after school, arcade used to really be the box. Ooh, that's a fact, that's like, a fact. You had, like, all the corners, you was valid. Like, Go to the arcade, they had everything, bro. I just, I remember just Street Fighter. It's going in there, be a line of necks. So if you lost, you had to go in the back of the line. You probably wasn't getting a spot back because you had to stay on that. No breaks. Just you had to be hot. Just... Hadouken. Like you had to be on point with your shit because if you lost, it was over. Like, Everybody I, was at the arcade. I never got a top score. I'm like, oh, Pac Man? Yeah. Like, I always <laughs> wanted like, to be on the leaderboard, but like, those were like, were, like the tryhards. Try and I'm like, Dang, I'm only here for like from four to seven. Like, <laughs> I, I don't got three hours to just no. I gotta do that. I gotta do the Pac Man. I gotta do the Street Fighter. Like all these other shit. I'm like, dang. I used to leave there with a hand looking like this for playing the whole day. Hey, come on, take a shot on me. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. All right. But that's all I got for today. Uh, big shout out to my bro A Nasty popping out one time. No vibes. If you haven't already. Drop a like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah. Put more of these like more nostalgic feelings from back in your day in here so we all can just have a laugh together. Nice. You know, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.